Just a stone's throw north of Atlanta, Sandy Springs is among the nicest of the leafy suburbs the metro area has to brag about. Sandy Springs is a city that sits on top of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, it's a very diverse city. It's one of the newest cities in Georgia. We have very affluent people that live here. As a community that prides itself in having the best of everything, it's no surprise that they boast on one of the country's most renowned maternity wards. Northside Hospital is like the baby factory of the United States where so many lives and happy memories are developed because people are giving birth there. But one night in June of 2012, the miracle of birth and tragedy of death collide. It was around 6.40 p.m. and the dispatchers dispatched units to Northside Hospital in the parking lot at the Women's Center. There's a person shot. We had an officer come over the radio and say they needed detectives. So we knew it was going to be something of a larger scale. We didn't know if we had an active shooter. The shooter might still be in the area. Were they on scene? We did have a tactical unit uh, clear the parking deck at every level to ensure that the suspects were gone. The victim had been removed from the car by hospital staff at that time and rushed into the hospital to perform life-saving measures. The, the victim was a rapper and that he went by the name Little Fat. But apparently, he was up and coming in the music industry and did concerts routinely throughout the area. So the thing about Lil Fat, Lil Fat is Melvin Fresnel Jr.'s son, the head of Troll Entertainment. He was one of many teen stars to kind of stand out and make the label um, the success story that it is today. His debut mixtape was a collaboration with DJ Khaled. He was really being set up for success. I met Fat after a show at Denny's, and then we exchanged numbers that night, so we just always, like, text and kept in contact. I feel like a year and a half, when we started living together, then I got pregnant. Me and Fat lived in Sandy Springs. It was like a five-bedroom house. It was nice, really nice. And every time like, he would go on the road, he would bring his daughter something back, like candy, toys, anything. He was a great father. Approximately a month before the murder, Melvin Vernell is pulled over by an officer who determines that the vehicle had been reported stolen. Uh, Melvin Vernell was very adamant with the officer that it was a rental car, that it's not stolen. Regardless, he's arrested for speeding and theft by receiving a motor vehicle. And then I find out Melvin had been renting the vehicle from Manny. Melvin Vernell's lawyer, George Pluminus, is also Manny's lawyer. Melvin pleads not guilty and consistently argues to the court it is a rental car. But then when it's time to produce the rental agreement and the title for the vehicle, the judge and the district attorney's office rejected. I am notified by DEA Atlanta that the person who had reported that car stolen was a heroin dealer from the East Coast who rented cars from Manny. Him and Manny get into a dispute. Manny repos it out underneath him. Drug dealer gets mad and says, OK, you want to play that game? Watch this. Calls Maryland State Police, files the car as stolen. The car gets put on the national database as stolen. Now you have our victim, Melvin Vernell, wants to rent a car from Manny. Manny, not knowing that the vehicle's been put on the system as stolen, leases it out to Melvin Vernell. Uh, what really becomes interesting is we run Carfax on the vehicle's VIN and find out after the murder Hattie Porter Lott, Eldorado Red's wife, is driving the vehicle as she had taken it to a BMW dealership because the check engine light had come on. So the vehicle goes from a drug dealer uh, from Maryland to Melvin Vernell, Manny gets it out, and then it goes to Hattie Porter Lott. Sandy Springs is a city that sits on top of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, it's a very diverse city. You have uh, a lot of mixed-use development, apartments, condominiums, uh, a lot of restaurants, eateries, shopping centers, plazas. I was founded in 2005. We started police services in July of 2006. Melvin and Alnisa were renting a very large house in Sandy Springs, but we're looking to become homeowners. We were like 
the only young black kids on the block. So it was like, um, they we probably used to wonder like, what did this guy do? Like, how do they live like this? Northside Hospital is the number one hospital for babies in Georgia. They have a huge women's center over there. Uh, they're, they're rocking and rolling 24 seven, um, very busy. I've been in the hospital for like three days. They were trying to prevent me from having my daughter early because I was only seven and a half months. I was just like, I'm gonna go. Like, how am I gonna stay in this hospital and my boyfriend is killed? Like, my first thing was like, there's someone trying to rob him and I, I didn't know nothing. They had a police outside my um, hospital door. I didn't have no clue as where this came from. 